Hello guys, watching Droid Crunch and I'm Lokesh Kapoor and in this video we are going to see in action how we can use PHP validation for Elementor Pro form. PHP validation uh, is an extension by Dynamico plugin. If you have not downloaded their plugin, you can check out the link in the description and get the plugin right away with 10% of discount. Flat discount it is. So I will get in commission but you will not need to pay any extra penny and you will get some discount. So it's a win to win deal. and. Uh, if you have it already, you can check out this video to you know utilize the PHP validation. So let's drag and drop the form widget right here. And let me just adjust this spacing and remove the field that I don't need for this video tutorial. And here in this additional options, you can find this PHP validation here. You can enable it and you will be able to input the PHP code. Okay, and when you enable this you also get the suggestion right here how you can use this and if you don't find it quite uh, you know useful you can copy this php validation okay and head over to help.diamond.2 okay and here you can paste it and enter and here is a documentation which will uh, you know tell you how you can use it okay so for this example we'll copy paste the first one okay and I'll show you how it works so is the length which is a string length okay the length of the string and a string is coming from the password field so you can use this dollar fields of this uh, variable make, make kind of variable to the password field id so we don't have password field as of now so what we can do we can say name okay so these two should be equal because return name and then this is the error message okay so this is field id and this is error message to be returned okay and it is just a condition so a string length field name so the name field the length of the name field should be less than 8 and if it is not then this error message will be returned to the name field okay the error message is the password requires at least 8 characters so we can say the name requires at least 8 characters okay and we can just save it let's see if it works for us at least eight characters so what we can say we can write a name which is less than eight characters for example my name and hi at the rate of test.com any email id okay the name requires at least eight characters so it is six characters and if we make hi it is eight characters now okay so form is sent so this way it works and here are some couple of more examples how you can use it like this one okay where the date field is uh, less than the current date okay then you can say you can't choose a date before today's date you can also use a condition like this where the conditions are uh, all connected for example Again, you need to accept uh, the submission when the time field is between 7 p.m. and 10 p.m. So it is like 7 p.m. or 10 p.m. you can say in other words. So when it is uh, between 7 to 10 p.m. you need to uh, you know make a condition like when it is below 7 p.m. and when it is more than 10 p.m. right. So the condition is the same. So field uh, of time is uh, less than 7 p.m. it is 7 p.m. Uh, 7 plus 12 19 okay and then for the other condition you can say like when it is more than 10 p.m. okay so if it is uh, below 7 or uh, more than 10 then you need to make a condition and then return that you must choose a time between 7 p.m. and 10 p.m. okay and you can also um, connect the conditions with end so you can make two conditions which have to be 
satisfied for example this one where you need to make sure that any of these field, fields are filled either stripe or paypal so if both are empty right so it will say at least one payment is required okay so both cannot be empty one should be filled okay so this way you can utilize a php extension you can also use a condition like this where you can say the uh, length of password is less than 8 then say the password requires at least 8 characters you can also use else if where you can say if it is exactly 10 you can make other condition the password can't be 10 words okay you can also make something like this and yeah. all up to you okay so you can also make use of else if and functions and anything in the php validation and make a sensible uh, you know validation out of your elementor perform so thanks for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions you can ask me in the comments and you can if you're a new user you can subscribe to our channel and join our facebook community i have left the link in the description and yeah thanks for watching have a great day stay healthy stay blessed bye bye